Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's July 28th, 2023. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. First up, let's take a look at five of the highest performing stocks within the industry. As of midday, July 28th, Enbridge Incorporated is trading at a volume of 2,586,092. BP is trading at 2,347,661. Chevron Core is at a volume of 2,183,219. Clean Energy is sitting at a volume of 776,451. And Dominion Energy is at a volume of 651,069. Now moving into our first story, the U.S. Department of Energy announced this past week it has set aside $20 million to minimize the use of solar energy systems materials, improve installation quality and resilience of photovoltaic systems, and streamline the reuse and recyclability of solar panels. 8 million of this is coming from the bipartisan infrastructure law. This funding opportunity will also set up a solar partnership to advance recycling and circularity, to improve materials recovery and develop safe end-of-life practices for said photovoltaic system components. The projects funded by this program will work to develop holistic solutions to enable rapid solar energy deployment in the U.S. over the next decade, creating jobs in communities across the country that support the Biden-Harris administration's ambitious climate goals. Now moving out to Columbus, Ohio, after breaking ground in February 2023, the new Rumkey Recycling and Resource Center is one step closer to completion. Rumkey, a recycling leader, hosted a topping out ceremony to commemorate placement of the final beam in construction of what will be the largest and most technologically advanced recycling facility of its kind in North America. Rumkey Area President Andrew Rumkey said, quote, This is a great day for Ohio, a great day for Columbus, and a great day for the Rumkey team. What we are doing here today takes us one step closer to bringing the dream of this extraordinary facility to reality. This facility will help us divert larger amounts of waste away from landfills while further fueling Ohio's circular economy. It's an environmental and economic win, and we are so excited to bring it to Central Ohio. End quote. Rumkey's $95 million private investment in the 223,000 square foot facility will include AI technology, infrared optical scanners, and ballistic separators. The technologically advanced system will allow Rumkey to increase the amount of recyclable material it processes annually from 150,000 tons to 250,000 tons from nearly 50 Ohio counties. Now moving to the world of aviation, Jivo has partnered with a subsidiary of McDermott International to develop sustainable aviation fuel facilities in North America. The first facility, called Net Zero One, will be located near Lake Preston, South Dakota, and is expected to produce up to 65 million gallons of sustainable aviation fuel, diesel, and renewable gasoline with a net zero greenhouse gas footprint. McDermott will provide front-end engineering and early planning services, along with execution planning and pricing for the engineering, procurement, and construction phase of the Net Zero One project. The Net Zero One facility holds immense potential not only in sustainable aviation fuel production, but also in generating 550 million pounds of high-value nutritional products annually. It will operate on wind energy, ensuring an environmentally friendly approach to fuel production. Moreover, the use of renewable natural gas from captured methane emissions of dairy cattle and livestock will further enhance the plant's sustainability. And just a reminder, Recyclist is brought to you by Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com. 
That's diamondsci.com. Or call them at 321-223-7500. Now on with the news. Moving up to Washington State, the city of Renton will accept over $70,000 in grant funding from the Kings County Hazardous Waste Management Program to implement hazardous waste collection, reduction, and education programs. Of that funding, 8000 is slated to go to a program with the goal of preventing environmental contamination caused by improper disposal of household batteries. Grant funding will also go toward continuing to implement a battery recycling collection program developed in 2012 that is accessible to city employees as well as the public. Public access will be reportedly expanded to additional locations where feasible. Grant funds will be used for costs associated with collection, recycling, and proper disposal of batteries typically used in the workplace and by the public, as well as for administration and promotion of the program. Now moving down to Louisiana, Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser and the Louisiana Office of State Parks announced the launch of the Let Louisiana Shine Park Recycling Program this week, a new recycling pilot project for aluminum cans and number one PET bottles to begin at four state parks, Beauchito, Fairview Riverside, Fontainebleau, and Tickfaw. This recycling pilot project is made possible through a grant from the Louisiana Beverage Association in coordination with the Pontchartrain Conservancy and the Osprey Initiative. Nungesser said, quote, Litter impacts Louisiana in so many ways, hurting the environment, quality of life, and economic development. By providing park visitors with recycling bins where they are using cans and plastic drink bottles, we hope to not only prevent these items from entering waterways and roadways, but also reduce the amount of recyclable material going into landfills. End quote. And lastly, Arkea will be spearheading a brand new renewable natural gas project in Roanoke Valley at the Smith Gap Regional Landfill. Jeremy Garrett, Roanoke Valley Resource Authority Director, said, quote, It is truly one of those win-win-win situations that we've managed to get ourselves into. We've been meeting all the environmental standards, but we did that through means of a flare. So we were just actually burning off that excess gas. Now we'll be capturing it, cleaning it, and actually it will be a commodity to be used elsewhere, end quote. Garrett said Roanoke Valley spent almost two years looking for a partner for the new project, of which RK Energy has already gotten to work and hopes to complete construction by 2025. And that has been your Recyclist News Update for July 28, 2023, presented by Diamond Scientific. I've been your host, Eric Provost, and we will see you right back here next week for another edition of Recyclist. Thank you.